when I have an idea, I usually go to Walker and say, you know, I've got this, I've got this idea here somewhere. Um, and I usually take in a dummy, which this is, this is Doodle Bites. Um, and this is part of the Tilly and Friends series. And a dummy book for me is I buy a, a notebook that has, this has a black cover, paper cover, take it off. I've got a ready-made book. And I, um, I draw out the book with all the pictures and the words in a very rough way. But I like to make a physical book because I, I spend a lot of time doing that, turning the page, turning the page, does it flow, does it flow? Can I fit it into 12 double spreads or 16 double spreads? All those things, and I, not everyone does that, and I think a lot of people uh, will write a story, and I think that's how you imagine it, that you, you sit down and you write the story, and then there are words, and then later on you draw pictures to go with those, but because I'm, I'm, I think I'm a very visual thinker, I like to write the story and the pictures, and sort of they grow together at the same time so for me it's really helpful to to um to make a dummy book and i think one of the things um i learned from working in the publishing company that maybe i didn't understand at college is that they don't necessarily want a completed book that is beautiful and um realized on every page because it's it's like a it's like a fortress that the publisher can't get into and you know you can't go oh we like this and this is working and pull this bit out and um they're not so malleable so it's there's a sort of there's a combination of for me i know the publishers they know that i'm quite messy and my you know my first sketches aren't beautiful but luckily they know that after a while they might become <laughs> become more acceptable so you it's presentation is important when giving a book in but it's the it's you don't want to just send a piece of paper into a publisher with a sort of scrap of an idea and make it look unloved you know if you can make it into a beautiful package that's nice but you can just do maybe a couple of finished pictures and then the rest can be you know rough this is what I would like it to be like you know and then there's also a way in for the publisher to go we love this we don't like the ending. We love this. We like the middle bit. Let's take that out. Let's make that grow. They might just pick out one character that is working and then discard the rest. So there's there's a lot of letting there's a lot of letting go. There's a lot of changing. There's a lot of letting a story sort of develop um, with time. So if you go in there and say this, you know, this is the answer, <laughs> um, then you might find it hard to rethink it. With this. This dummy, I just, um, I just thought I'm just going to draw the book like now in, in half an hour. Just draw the whole book out, and um, it looks like um, it looks like a child's done it really in a way. There are things in here that l gave me clues to the rest of the book. There's a lot of it that's horrible, but um, there were just like there's a freshness to um, to to that that I just wasn't getting and and then there's uh i think this this baby here i thought that's the baby that has got all the energy that i need um so a lot of this is just discarded but there were a few nuggets in it that just made me understand what i was trying to get at it, so it was almost like i had to without wanting to be pretentious feel <laughs> feel the book and just you know just blah, do it um and then spend another six months up <laughs> pulling out those energetic bits and making them flow um yeah so it's not sort of not being self-conscious and making a mess and then looking at that mess and pulling out pulling out one beautiful line <laughs> this is this is Shoe Baby, the book that I did with Mum uh, years ago, and it was one of my very, very early books, so I was still kind of working out what the style was. And I remember, I thought, I'll make a dummy, and I'll, I'll put in this dummy all the flavours of the things I wanted to include, and I think I sort of nicked some Andy Warhol wrapping paper, and... Um, 
I just collaged it together and in a very, very rough, rough way. And I sort of collaged bits of magazines and just little sort of snippets of things that um, made me go, oh, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> um, just to get a feel of how I wanted this book to be. I've, I've taken um, a big picture of a cloud and um, this is a page from Flyaway Katie. Um, it's almost like you're trying to get the whole flavour of the book as quickly as possible into a dummy. So I've put um, just there's a cockatoo here, so I've just cut one out from, I don't know, some old old um, natural history book. And I just, um, it, although it's not how the book turned out, but it, it's got the flavour in it. And um, there's Andy Warhol's shoes. <laughs> so I was never intending to, you know, take them and use them as my own. Um, it was just allowing me to, um, to to grab and like mental notes as this is the flavour I want to be, this is how it's going to be, um, very quickly. And there's something about doing something quickly and, and dynamically that keeps it all fresh and flowing. And most of the things in here did end up in the final book after a lot of refining. Um, you know, it's all those initial fresh ideas that, that um, you look back on and go, yeah, I was reacting to that in a, um, a very immediate way. And so I spent probably a year doing this book and, and um, the success of it is to read it and looks like, look like I, I did it, you know, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and I, hopefully it looks like that.